Type 2 diabetes is a chronic metabolic condition that affects millions of people worldwide, and its impact extends far beyond issues related to blood sugar control. One commonly overlooked and yet profoundly disruptive complication of type 2 diabetes is constipation. This seemingly benign condition can be a source of immense discomfort and decreased quality of life for those living with diabetes. In this video, we will delve into the reasons behind the existence of constipation in type 2 diabetes, shedding light on the contributing factors, and more importantly, offering practical solutions for managing and alleviating this often neglected issue. Constipation, characterized by infrequent or difficult bowel movements, is a problem that affects individuals with diabetes at a higher rate than the general population. Understanding the underlying causes of constipation in diabetics is essential for proper management and improving overall well-being. It is not merely an inconvenience. Constipation can lead to complications, worsen glycemic control, and affect the overall health of those with type 2 diabetes. We will explore the multifaceted aspects of this condition, including the role of medications, diabetic neuropathy, diet, and physical activity, as well as the impact of stress and blood sugar levels. Through this video, we aim to empower individuals with diabetes to take control of their digestive health, reduce the discomfort associated with constipation, and ultimately enhance their overall quality of life. So join us on this informative journey as we unravel the mystery of why constipation exists in type 2 diabetes and discover effective strategies to combat it. Constipation, a term that often conjures images of temporary discomfort, is a more prevalent and persistent issue for individuals living with type 2 diabetes than it is for the general population. In this section, we will begin our exploration by defining constipation, understanding its prevalence among diabetics, and delving into the considerable impact it has on their daily lives. Definition of constipation. Constipation is characterized by infrequent and challenging bowel movements. It occurs when the stool moves slowly through the digestive tract, resulting in dry and hard stools that are difficult to pass. In addition to physical discomfort, constipation can lead to abdominal pain, bloating, and a sense of incomplete evacuation all of which significantly affect one's quality of life. Prevalence of constipation in type 2 Research has shown that constipation is a common problem in individuals with type 2 diabetes. While the exact prevalence varies, it is estimated that diabetics are more likely to experience constipation than the general population. The reasons behind this increased prevalence are multifactorial and can be linked to the unique challenges posed by diabetes. Impact of constipation on diabetic patients. Constipation's consequences extend beyond the physical discomfort it brings. For those with type 2 diabetes, it can lead to worsened glycemic control, increased stress, and a decreased quality of life. The discomfort and inconvenience associated with constipation can compound the already complex challenges of managing diabetes. In this section, we've laid the foundation for our discussion on constipation in type 2 diabetes. Now, we will delve deeper into the causes of this condition in diabetic individuals, aiming to uncover the specific factors that contribute to its prevalence and persistence in this population. We will explore the various factors that contribute to constipation in individuals with type 2 diabetes. Understanding these causes is crucial for effectively addressing and managing this issue. The causes of constipation in diabetic patients can be multifaceted and interconnected. Medications. Many individuals with type 2 diabetes rely on medications to manage their blood sugar levels. Some of these medications, particularly certain types of opioids and anticholinergic drugs, can slow down bowel movements and contribute to constipation. It's important to discuss medication side effects with your healthcare provider and explore alternative options if constipation becomes a significant concern. Neuropathy. Diabetic neuropathy is a common complication of type 2 diabetes. It can damage the nerves that control the digestive system, resulting in impaired motility 
of the intestines. This neuropathy can lead to slower and less coordinated bowel movements, which are typical characteristics of constipation. Poor diet. Diet plays a crucial role in the development of constipation. Individuals with diabetes might not always make the best dietary choices, which can lead to inadequate fiber intake, a lack of hydration, and a disruption in regular bowel movements. A diet high in refined and processed foods can worsen constipation. Lack of physical activity. Sedentary lifestyles are more prevalent in individuals with type 2 diabetes, and a lack of physical activity can contribute to constipation. Exercise stimulates the natural contractions of the intestines, aiding in the movement of stool. Insufficient physical activity can disrupt this natural process, leading to constipation. Recognizing these interconnected causes is the first step in addressing constipation in type 2 diabetes. In the next section, we will discuss practical solutions and management strategies that can help mitigate the impact of these causes and improve digestive health in diabetic individuals. Now that we've explored the underlying causes of constipation in type 2 diabetes, it's time to focus on practical solutions and management strategies to alleviate this common and troublesome issue. Effective management of constipation can significantly improve the overall quality of life for individuals with diabetes. Here are some strategies to consider. Medication adjustment. If constipation is primarily caused by specific diabetes medications, it's essential to discuss this concern with your healthcare provider. They can explore alternative medications or adjust the dosage to minimize the side effects while maintaining proper glycemic control. Dietary modifications. A well-balanced diet plays a pivotal role in preventing and managing constipation. Increase your fiber intake by consuming more fruits, vegetables, whole grains and legumes. Fiber adds bulk to your stool, making it easier to pass. Also, drink plenty of water to keep your digestive system hydrated. Increased physical activity. Regular exercise can stimulate bowel movements by promoting natural contractions in the intestines. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity most days of the week. Consult with your healthcare provider before starting a new exercise routine, especially if you have other medical conditions. Hydration. Staying adequately hydrated is crucial for softening stool and promoting regular bowel movements. Aim to drink enough water throughout the day and consider herbal teas or prune juice, which can have a mild laxative effect. Fiber intake. Fiber supplements such as psyllium husk or metamucil can be helpful when dietary fiber alone is insufficient. These supplements can aid in softening the stool and improving bowel regularity. By implementing these solutions, you can take proactive steps to manage and alleviate constipation in type 2 diabetes. Adopting certain lifestyle changes can significantly contribute to relieving constipation in individuals with type 2 diabetes. These changes are aimed at promoting regular bowel movements, reducing stress, and maintaining stable blood sugar levels. Here are some important lifestyle adjustments to consider. Stress management. Stress can exacerbate constipation. Engaging in stress reduction techniques such as deep breathing exercises, mindfulness, yoga, or meditation can help relax the body and mind, which, in turn, can have a positive impact on digestive health. Regular bathroom habits. Establishing a routine for bowel movements can help train your body to have regular and predictable bowel habits. Try to make time for a daily visit to the bathroom, preferably after a meal when the body's natural reflex for bowel movements is often triggered. Monitoring blood sugar levels. Keeping your blood sugar levels within a target range can help regulate various bodily functions, including digestion. Consistently high or low blood sugar levels can disrupt normal bowel movements. Work closely with your healthcare provider to manage your diabetes effectively. Herbal remedies. Some herbal remedies, such as aloe vera, senna, or ginger, may have mild laxative effects and can be considered under the guidance of a healthcare professional. However, it's important to use them cautiously and sparingly. By incorporating these lifestyle changes alongside the previously mentioned solutions, you can develop a holistic approach to managing constipation in type 2 diabetes.
Remember that individual responses may vary, so it's important to work with your healthcare provider to tailor your management plan to your specific needs and preferences. While the strategies and solutions discussed in the previous sections can be highly effective in managing constipation in type 2 diabetes, there may be situations where medical attention is necessary. It's crucial to recognize warning signs and symptoms that indicate the need for professional evaluation and intervention. Here's when you should consider seeking medical help. Persistent constipation. If your constipation continues despite your efforts to manage it through lifestyle changes and over-the-counter remedies, it's essential to consult a healthcare provider. Prolonged constipation can lead to complications and should not be ignored. Severe abdominal pain. If you experience severe and persistent abdominal pain, it may be a sign of an underlying issue, such as a bowel obstruction or other gastrointestinal problems. Seek immediate medical attention if you have intense or worsening pain. Blood in stool. The presence of blood in your stool can be a concerning symptom and may indicate a more serious issue. Any rectal bleeding should be evaluated by a healthcare professional. Unexplained weight loss. If you notice unexplained weight loss in conjunction with constipation, it could be indicative of an underlying health problem. Rapid and unintended weight loss should be discussed with your doctor. Changes in bowel habits. If your bowel habits change suddenly, especially if it's accompanied by other concerning symptoms like diarrhea or alternating between constipation and diarrhea, consult a healthcare provider. Other health issues. If you have other medical conditions or are taking medications for diabetes or other chronic illnesses, your healthcare provider should be informed of your constipation issues as they may need to adjust your treatment plan. In conclusion, recognizing the signs that warrant medical attention is crucial for the overall well-being of individuals with type 2 diabetes. Do not hesitate to consult a healthcare provider when needed as they can provide proper diagnosis, treatment, and guidance tailored to your specific situation. Combining professional advice with the strategies discussed in this video can help individuals effectively manage and alleviate constipation, improving their quality of life and overall health. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of constipation in type 2 diabetes. We hope this video has provided valuable insights and practical strategies to help you or your loved ones better manage and alleviate this common issue. Remember that individual experiences may vary, so it's essential to work closely with your healthcare provider to tailor your management plan to your specific needs. If you found this video informative and helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with others who may benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health-related content and stay tuned for our next video where we will continue to address important topics related to diabetes and overall well-being. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.